All right, today we're gonna we're gonna try to raise this uh, exhaust hood and bolt it in place. So up above, I mounted a, a hand crank from a boat trailer, and down here we got this block of wood to, to hold it up from the bottom. Okay, so to raise this thing up, I just drilled a hole in this block of wood and I put the cable through here and this bolt to make sure it, it doesn't come through. And I'm going to set this under here and we'll start cranking from the top. Okay, so up on the top side here, I just have this. This is from a, it's supposed to go on a boat trailer to pull a boat onto a trailer. I just bought it on Amazon and I bolted it to this 2x6 or 2x8 here and it's going to span across the ladder racks so it's supported pretty well and I'm just going to hand crank until uh, we get that hood up to the top and then once it's up to the top I'll bolt it in place so here we go All right, I'm gonna go down and see what it looks like. Okay, now we've got it in place. The block of wood is holding it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, we're gonna mount it with these uh, quarter 20 galvanized bolts. So I'm gonna start drilling some holes and I'm gonna make sure to hit the, you know, the vertical supports so that they're good and solid. Okay, we're gonna drop these bolts. These are galvanized quarter 20. We're gonna put them through the top. But before I do that, I wanna clean this surface a little bit. Put some caulk up here. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm just gonna take my finger and smooth out this caulk on the top side here. And to make sure it's in there, it's getting everywhere it needs to be.
All right, so now I'm gonna take this piece of scrap aluminum and patch this hole. We're gonna use pop rivets to secure it, and some caulk to seal it up. So I'm just putting a cock on the inner part of the head of the bolt so it makes a good seal. This is what I should have done in the first place. You know, to avoid having to. are in the way. <laughs> okay, some of these bolts are a little too long, so I'm going to cut them off. And for this, I'm going to wear gloves, ear protection, and eye protection.
Okay, so now we're going to see if, if these grease filters fit in. There we go, they fit. All right, so now we got the hood hung. This is a grease trap, by the way. Um, apparently, it goes right here, or a grease catcher, grease pan, I don't know. But there's like a trough here, and I guess with a deep fryer or whatever, you get a lot of grease, and it's this is designed to kind of drip down in here. It collects here, and you can get rid of it. That's not gonna really happen for us. <clears throat> Later on, we'll be installing the exhaust fans. They're not, they're not in. We'll have to cut a hole in the side of the truck. I'm not gonna do a top mount because I don't like how they look. We're gonna do side mount vents. And uh, what else? I got this from Hoodmart. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the hoodmart.com? I can't really speak for the quality or, or how it's going to work because I haven't used it yet, but they have a big variety of hoods over there. And I think this is a six foot hood. So um, After this will be, I think we're going to do the flooring next. And then after that, we're going to get that prep cooler in here. So thanks for watching.